I found the most sus block facts that Minecraft has been hiding from us. So today, I'm gonna test them and prove they aren't clickbait, but actually 100% fact. A bit of a riddle for you. How do you get an infinite water source using just one bucket of water? Uh, well, you can't. The answer should be that you can't. Exactly. It's not the case. And if uh, we were to have a cauldron on hand, we'll see why. Apparently, in bedrock edition, these cauldrons can fill with a source block above. Meaning okay. that if we fill a cauldron like this, instead of how we're supposed to, we'll be able to pull as many buckets of Yo, water as we can. That's broken. My entire life has been alive because for as long as I've played Minecraft, I've truly believed that you needed two water buckets to create an infinite source. But apparently I've been bamboozled unless this is a clickbait prank in which case I'm going to be furious. But let's chuck down our water and see if this is real. All right, so we've got our water flowing. Okay, um, yeah, that's what the sign was for. I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> All right, so now that our water is contained, switch into survival so there are no shenanigans going on and let's collect our infinite water. Ha! Excuse me, it didn't work. What? Bro, guys, I'm clicking on the cauldron and my bucket isn't filling up. It's clickbait. Oh, I knew it! I knew it, guys! Boom! That's my water. Oh, wait, but there's water there. Oh, wait a minute. So you pick up that water and then you put it back. Oh, I've been doing I was doing it. Oh, I see. I was doing it wrong. It's not clickbait. It's actually real. What? So basically what you have to do is pick up that water, then use a bucket to pick up that water and you place it down. You can see I've already got three buckets now. And then what? I pick that up again. I've got four and now I've got five buckets. And you just repeat this over and over again until you've got all the buckets you need. And well, I mean, it's honestly easier at that point to just break out four blocks and make an infinite water source with two. Okay. I was so excited. I was right there, but I was wrong. This is just, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Minecraft's pumpkins used to look like this. Pumpkin pie used to be more orange. Ew. Record lanterns can be enchanted with curses. Or something delicious <laughs> knows this <laughs> It looks so Pumpkins dumb. make a didgeridoo sound when placed on dry This was the first screenshot of a pumpkin pie. Jack o' lanterns first look like this. Mobs have a chance of wearing a pumpkin on Halloween. Pumpkins drop when pushed by pistons. Pumpkins used to be found in engines. No. Jack o' lanterns work for building golems. Pumpkin seeds breed chickens. Since when? Jack o' lanterns spawn in tiger villages. Uh, since when can you enchant jack o' lanterns with curses? Like what, Minecraft? You ain't making sense because it's practically useless. Like yes, if we enchant a carved pumpkin with the curse of binding and chuck this on our head, we won't be able to take it off. Like, look at this, guys. Now, no matter what, I can spam click it and it will not come off. But you can't wear jack-o'-lanterns here, guys. If I switch into creative and now take it off, I, I can't put jack-o'-lanterns on my head, even if I enchant it with Curse of Binding, right? Or oh, maybe this changes it. <gasps> maybe this changes the game. All right, we've enchanted it with Curse of Binding, put it on our head. See, look at it. I am clicking and I cannot put it on my head. It's useless. Is there any point to enchanting these things? Like, Curse of Vanishing disappears when the player dies, but if you can't wear it, it does nothing. Is there a purpose to this other than to flex that you're rich and can just waste enchantments on random things? I, I really don't know. Guys, please let me know in the comments down below. The other thing I thought was hilarious was the zombie villager spawning in with a pumpkin and it just not fitting his nose. <laughs> like there was no hole. His just nose burst out through the pumpkin. And I want to see if that also applies to regular villagers. Let's go. Bam. <laughs> bro, where are your eyes, bro? He's not even wearing a car pumpkin. He's just wearing a pumpkin and his nose just... Burst out. How did you... Bro, that must hurt. That must really, really hurt. You should see a doctor about that. <laughs> and his hat burst out as well. That looks so funny, guys. And then finally, you can breed chickens with pumpkin seeds. I just thought you could use regular wheat seeds, and that was the catch. Like, this is what it's always been in Minecraft, but I suppose it makes sense that pumpkin seeds would work too. They're also seeds. So let's give it a go. Here are our pumpkin seeds. Okay, the chickens are following me. Why do you want pumpkin seeds, bro? Pumpkin is lame compared to wheat. Okay, the chickens clearly don't care. And, and what? If I feed them, they'll breed? Bro, oh no. Oh no, this is a cut. You are a cursed pumpkin, baby! With each new update, Mojang gives us in the building community something to play around with. And Facts. for the wild update, that's currently the addition of Skulk. I and love since the these new blocks. Skulk function like vines, we can completely reimagine our existing textures. For instance, we can take after this user and make our own no. blue variant of the skin. No, that has to be a mod. That and has to be a This fake. just gets me excited for when 1.19 properly releases. It can't look that good. It looks so real. No, no, no. No way Minecraft is that cool. Okay, so we've got our diamond block. These two look nothing alike at the moment, and we're going to add our Skulk vein. Bro, that is so cool. You literally got blue magma now. Bro, and then you can put it around all sides and it literally looks like a blue magma. That is so dope. And on top of that, I mean, I've got a bunch of blocks here and you can pretty much experiment with all of these to get all kinds of different things. Wait, I want to see what they look like. Okay. That looks a bit odd. It kind of looks like rusty magma. Oh, that's like a darker blue magma. Purple magma. That just looks really terrifying. It looks, looks like the end is ripping into the overworld. Oh, that's a cool magma. That's like burnt magma. Yo, matching the netherite. And oh, that would look so good in builds, guys. And then uh, that looks just a bit dumb. <laughs> but this is legendary. You can literally get any color magma block you want. Bro, 
I mean, Skulk already looked cool, but now it looks a trillion times better. Bro, what is this potato cam quality? <laughs> There's no way this video has anything interesting or new when it's this trash. Okay, what is it doing? Opening the barrel and... Wait, what? Bro, what happened to the texture? It's like permanently open? How did he do that? That is not a block fact. That's a block hack. First thing I noticed from the trash quality, it was definitely Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So we've made the switch to try and unlock the secret barrel block. Now, he didn't exactly show us the redstone, but I think it wasn't too complicated and we should be able to figure it out together. So we have the sticky piston and then two blocks. Then we're going to have a space here for the observer. We don't want to put that in straight away and have this redstone wrap around the back and straight back into the piston. Because basically when we open up this barrel, it's going to activate through this observer, putting a redstone signal here and pushing up the barrel. I think basically... By moving it while it opens, it somehow freezes the block. That's my theory. We're about to see whether it's just clickbait. Three, two, one, open it up and... Oh my goodness, bro, there it is. Permanently open up barrel. And if we break that, it actually stays. You can't even get this block using commands. That's how illegal it is right now. Bro, this would be so great for building and stuff. That's awesome. Just, I'm assuming if we open it, it goes back to normal. Just don't open it or you're going to ruin the design. That's so dope. All right, what's my man doing out here with his honey and stone? I'm so confused. Oh, bro. Nah, bro, you're screwed. You can't jump once you're stuck on honey. It ain't happening. Nah, even with a jumper's potion, it doesn't work. You are stuck permanently, bro. <laughs> you think jumping higher is going to get you out of the sticky honey? Even with jumpers too. I guarantee you, you're not making it out. Whoa. Huh. No, this has to be a jump. You're not supposed to be able to escape honey at all. No, no, no. You're telling me all the times Ethan has stuck me in honey, I would have been able to escape as long as I just had a splash potion of jumpers too handy? No, I refuse to believe it. All right, we're stuck in here. I'm switching into survival mode. There's no creative shenanigans going on. Throw this up in the air. All right, here we go. And I knew it. I knew I can't make it right there, guys. Look at that. I got... Oh, wait, did I throw... I threw the jumpers one. Oh, wait. I could still be wrong. There goes the jumpers too. Let's try it again. That, no, 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 that was a glitch. That, that was a glitch, right? Flip. Oh my goodness, you can do it. You can escape honey. Bro, this is huge. You can use, just carry around one of these. So if your friends ever prank you, you can escape. I genuinely thought honey was an inescapable chat, but I was wrong. Bro, you lame, honey. The bees, take this back to the beehive. Go back to the beehive. <laughs> Time where blocks were added in 1.10, they had a feature where they'd store the light level of a block placed next to it. So if you place glowstone and then removed it like so, it would be just as bright. That is the it's coolest thing ever. For sure, but it got removed in 1.14 because it was actually like bug. Mate, I forgot how boring old iron ore texture was, but that's not why we're here. We're here to test out magma, which was added in this version of Minecraft. So normally when you place this down, we'll get rid of the torch here. It doesn't really emit light. Like the block itself kind of glows on its own, but it's not the same. But if we go ahead and apparently place a block that does glow, for example, our glowstone here next to it, and then we destroy it again, it's supposed to keep the glowstone inside of it. It just doesn't make sense, but it sounds awesome. All right. And look at that. It glows as if the glowstone is still there. That's so awesome. So let's get rid of that magma and we'll place it down again here. And then we'll place the sea lantern next to it and then break it. Yo, that is so cool. It's basically like an on-off switch for whether or not the block glows. Why isn't this still in Minecraft? Like, yeah, I get it's a bug, but that would be such a great feature. So you can have like on-off lamps inside your house and everything. Oh my God, so much potential. Guys, right now, if you want Mojang to bring this feature back, leave a like on this video.